Hey, yo, me, it is Rowie here. It is Tuesday, so it, it's been, I don't think I even put a beer review up last week. Uh, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, we, I'm going to do one now. So you've got one. You've got that in the bag. You know, this week, you've got one. You've at least got one. I'll probably try and do two, but you've at least got one. Uh, so the other week, Tom from Neon Raptor got me one of these um, these Guinness Nitro Surgers. Um, so I thought... As I've basically been, uh, I've really got a big thing about people splitting the G at the minute. I hate people who split the G. It's the most stupid, arbitrary thing I've ever seen. If you split the G, you're a wanker. It's like, it's like a replacement for a personality trait now. It's like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, you go out and you, you get the, you, you split the G, you get the Guinness, and you get the get you drink. You, you're just drinking your Guinness quicker, you dickheads. Do you know what I mean? That's all it is. You're just drinking Guinness quicker, so you can buy more Guinness. That's all it is. It's a marketing gimmick, and you flipping hacks have fallen for it not this guy yeah that being said though i have got a guinness nitro surge and i'm going to put it on some good beers and uh, the one the, the good beer today this is actually canned this morning and it is uh neon raptor mini egg clusters so uh, mini egg chocolate stout it's 5.2 percent um uh, happy easter cluster happy easter clusters fun bunnies fuck me um happy easter clusters fan bunnies our flagship stout has had a seasonal upgrade involving some mini chocolate eggs to tease your taste buds and help shoot down asteroids, okay? I do not know if this is guaranteed to help you shoot down an asteroid if you're drinking it. I very much doubt it, actually, as that would be ludicrous. Um, yeah, so 5.2%. So we've got the Guinness Nitro Surge here. I'm not going to do it for a Guinness glass. I've got my Craft Metropolis glass, so I might, uh, I might split the sea. I don't know, I might do that, you know. That'd be cool. People like that, don't they? Split in the split thing. So how does this work? Um, preference to attach a nozzle. I've already done that. Always use a clean Guinness glass. Refrigerate cans at least 28 hours. Uh, only use with correct Guinness Nitro Surge cans and no other cans or products. Here's an idea, Guinness. Go fuck yourself. Do you know what I mean? This costs someone else 25 quid to buy this for me. Yeah? And if I, if I want to use it on a, a can of Neon Raptor beer, I'm going to do it. Yeah? So... Uh, off you pop, lads. Uh, so yeah, pour in instructions for, for best results. Now, open the can slowly. Okay, I am slowly opening the can. Then, does it say anything about? Okay, open the can slowly and push the device firmly as shown. So that kind of goes there, and that kind of goes there. I assume is that right? Yeah, that looks right to me, lad. And then yeah, just pop it on. Is that on? That looks pretty on to me. That looks pretty on to me. Push button once to activate. Is that a button? I don't know if that's a button. No, there's an on, on off button there. The universal sign for an on off button. So we'll get that pressed. So, got that on. Uh, when is to cancel activation, press button a second time. Hold the glass at 45 degree and raise the can to horizontal and just start. So, just pour some beer into it then. Uh, and then stop pouring when the glass is three quarters of the way full so yeah so we're gonna guinness nitro surge this one will it make any difference whatsoever i mean who knows who knows i mean at the minute it just looks like i'm pouring a beer really really badly which you know regular viewers of the channel will know that is something that i do quite a lot anyway Days hard. This is fuck me. This is a hogman pour and a half. This isn't it? Shit the bed. To uh, to annoy some of the uh, the proper stouty losers out there, I uh, I am. There we go. It says leave for sixty seconds. So I don't know what we're going to do for sixty seconds. Um, pop on some raggy or something like that and watch some of his shorts or something. I don't know. Cause, you know, but come back at the five minute mark. Um, I just, of course, don't come back at the five minute mark. Stay. Um, yeah, I'm doing this with a cheap can of clusters at the minute. Um, I am going to be passing some big boys through it to annoy some nerds. Um, I am going to be um, Nitro Surgeon Centaur Army. I am going to be Nitro Surgeon some Emperor's Beers because why the blooming heck not, eh? Why should I not do that? Because um, that's the best way. I mean, this is. This was a ridiculous idea. I, I think they probably have specifically said use their own products because it's designed for that. So uh, so things like that don't happen. But hey, it doesn't matter. Like, 
bloody hell. So yeah, we're five minutes in now, so that's an extra minute. Let's uh, let's top this up a bit of the way more. Fucking hell. Five finger fucking tan head. And then just get some in at the very end like that. Uh, well, there we go. That uh, is an awfully poor bit. I can't even split the C because uh, it, I mean, it's, it's kind of automatically kind of split the C for me. But I tell you what, it's got a very, uh, it's got a very fun looking head, doesn't it? So uh, let's have a little, uh... it smells great. I mean, it does smell really good. It smells like clusters, um, but mini eggs don't actually have a particular scent, do they? They just, it's chocolate with a crisp shell, isn't it? Um, although I did read somewhere, apparently the different coloured mini eggs are different flavours. And that is the biggest pile of horseshit I've ever I've ever heard in my entire life because there's absolutely no way they are different flavours. They all taste identical. But then again, if you who eats mini eggs in a way that isn't piling them in to your mouth, you know, twenty or thirty at a time, I don't even know how I'm going to get to the beer on this one because uh, that is a a Mr. Whippy style head on there. But uh, I'll tell you what, I was uh, like I said, I was at Neon this morning. Uh, I came back to help them with the cannon line for this one because uh, Jasper, the lazy bastard, has uh, taken uh, two weeks off for his birthday. Ooh, it's my birthday. I have to I have to take two weeks off, lazy bastard. I have to go in and do your cannon line, son. But yeah, let's get it. That's enough of all that nonsense. Let's get it bloody slurped. It's malty, it's chocolatey, it's pretty thin, but you kind of expect it to be that for a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, for a um, <clears throat> a 5% just regular chocolate stout. The sort of, uh, the mini egg flavour definitely comes through more so at the end, very much on the finish. It's got that sort of um, sugary sweet sort of um, shell, obviously it doesn't taste like shell, but the shell that you get on your... Um, the shell that you get on your mini eggs it's definitely a little uh, little hint of that there um almost a little a little sort of smoky flavor on there right at the very very back as well um which is weird um i did have this last year but i can't really remember what it tasted like to be honest with you so i still think this is it's kind of how i remember it tasting i think i remember it being slightly sweeter last year to be honest with you but uh, yeah, I think uh, if you like your dark beers, I think you'd be uh, be daft not to about try it. To be perfectly honest with you, and it's a nice little uh, nice little Easter variation on it, isn't it? I, I still think personally of all the variations they've done so far, the the pumpkin spice one was the uh, the nightmare before clusters. I still think that is probably the best one that um, has been done. There was a really good one with a shithouse brewery. Uh, called, I'm, not, I'm not even going to say the name because I don't want to uh, give them any sort of uh, promotion because uh, they're thieving bastards. But yeah, there was a very good one with um, some thieving cunt brewery. But um, it doesn't matter about that, does it? You know, I don't. I don't work for Neon. I could say who it is because I uh, I don't work for Neon anymore. So I could tell you who the uh, the thieving cunts were who who stole from them. But uh, but I'm not going to do that because you know it might not help matters for it might bite me on in the ass further down the line but uh, but i know who they are and they know who they are and they are wankers um yeah so uh i mean if anyone from neon watches this like if josh or tom watch it and want to say it, who it is in the comments then awesome or if you want to just ask in the comments i might get drunk and just post it later on who knows but yeah um as always yeah thank you very much indeed for uh swinging by uh I could, I'm very again, like I said, I am very sorry for not posting anything last week. I don't actually. There was no reason. I just didn't. I just didn't post anything. But uh, I didn't even post that many shorts. Uh, I think it's because I discovered TikTok, and uh, yeah, I've been doing some pretty cool things on TikTok. I might put a link to my. It's just the craft beer basic. I I don't know how to post links on TikToks or anything like that. But yeah, you should follow that as well. May as well. Like, it's kind of like this, but I'm more miserable. Well, that is very nice indeed.
but yeah as always thank you very much for watching uh like and subscribe is always uh super super appreciated like i said we will be using the uh the nitro surge a um i'd say a bit more we're going to be using the nitro surge a lot more going forward uh, and i will be putting some uh, top shagger beers on there <clears throat> there will be yeah there will be some absolutely belters uh that will be getting poured through this which uh will obviously piss people off you know some barrel aid sense or some normal sense or we'll get some uh, we'll get some good stuff through there but yeah thank you for watching like and subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you in a bit yeah take care of yourselves yeah in a bit bye, bye, bye.